Hey my connectors! Welcome back to the channel. Today I am so excited. We're doing the seven days of seafood. And of course you know I know I'm about two days late. But that's okay. We're here. So today we have king crab. So the theme for today is king, king, king. But I did add some shrimp and potatoes and some eggs and we have lemon. So we're going to get started. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this seven day challenge. This is this really will be a challenge for me. So let's go ahead and get started. We have four king crab legs. Now I'm hoping I can finish them, but if I can't, we'll just add it to whatever we have tomorrow. Okay, let's go. Oh, and of course you know what I have. Clearly Canadian and peach flavor. I don't know if you guys can see it. I put it in the freezer so it's a little frozen. Hopefully it'll thaw out a little bit before I open it. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Let, let's go. And I tried to put, I hope y'all can see me. I tried to put the little display up there. I kind of like that. I'm going to try and do a different little something, something every day. Don't hold me to that though. So of course, you guys know, um, we were supposed to start on the first. And I thought the first was on a Monday. <laughs> Don't ask me how I thought that, but I did. I really thought Monday was the first. I don't know why. Oh, Kiana, can you bring me that plate? So we're a little behind, but I'll make it up. I'll make up the two days I missed. But I'm so excited to try this challenge. This will be actually be the first time I've put up seven videos in a row. Thank you. And, um... Most of you may know, and I'm really kind of celebrating just a milestone. I hope that's not too close. A milestone of me achieving um, 5,000 subscribers. I've never really celebrated before, so this is just kind of my celebration um, to myself. <laughs> mm. And of course, you know I have B-Love sauce. I made a new batch. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just going to put that down. And I have these jumbo shrimp from Sam's. Hopefully you can see that. This plate is on so it's hot. So I want to thank everybody, all the, everybody that's been riding me with me for a while, all my new subscribers. Uh, thank you guys so much. Um, cause I definitely couldn't do this without you. And I know it's not, you know, a huge milestone, but in my eyes, it is huge to me because when you go from being scared to even post a video to where I am now. That is a huge accomplishment. So, I celebrate that. Okay, we're going to take this tower down so we can eat. <laughs> but there's four legs here. Hopefully you can see them. And there's a garlic topping on top of it. the meat and the knuckle mm. so there's garlic and parsley and butter which creates a really nice sauce at the bottom Good. There's so much meat in the knuckle. I'm gonna put it in this garlic butter at the bottom. But yeah, I'm celebrating because I wanted to start YouTube in 
April of last year. And it wasn't, not, not so much a fear of what somebody might say. It was more a fear of the unknown. Because I had never done anything like that. So I doubted, you know, if it could be done or if I can do it. So of course, of course, I talked about it, talked about it, talked about it. And then finally I started. And I'm so glad I started. It has had, really has been the best decision I could have ever done. Because I will... When you have so much doubt about something, sometimes you can't see yourself on the other side. So, by me starting, and the best thing I've done since I started YouTube in October, October 28th is when I uploaded my first video. The, first, the best thing I did was just start. Because that was the best advice I guess my husband could have given me. And my husband is not one of those people that will be like, oh, you know, you can do it. Don't worry about it. He does, he's not one to like pet you or whatever. He will support you. And he supports me. But he doesn't let me make excuses. And while I don't like that, <laughs> it's probably the best thing for me. He doesn't let me sit up and depend on him to edit my videos or do things I don't know how to do. He'll show me. But not before I've looked it up myself. Which... You know, the average person get pissed off. Yes, and I did. I got pissed off a lot. So, but it was the best thing for me. Because when you learn how to do something yourself, and you can teach others how to do it, that means you know it. And that has been my best lesson. Just try it. Just try it. Just try and do it. If you get stuck, of course, he'll help me out. But just by me trying. I know y'all say, I know she didn't open that um, king crab and grab a shrimp. Yes, I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Hold on. Let me just throw this in my mouth. Just throw this in now. Real quick. Real quick. Okay. Okay, some of this fat off. But I am so thrilled. I'm so excited. I'm going to put this sauce so y'all can see it. Put this sauce so y'all can see it. Mm. Your shirt going to get messy. Mm, that's good. And I made it so spicy. I'm spicier than I probably ever have. Mm. Mm -mm. Glitting the butter. I'm in the lemon. Look, starting day one off wrong. <laughs> Let's get some of that garlic on there. Mmm. Mmm, God, that's good. Mm-mm. I mean that's ridiculous. Awesome. This king crab, I tell you every day, they'll spoil you with this meat. It will spoil you. But yeah, 
it's de it definitely wasn't easy to get to where I am. And I have a long way to go. I just think you should just take just take a minute to celebrate your accomplishment. So, no, it wasn't easy, especially when you don't have anybody you know that does it. You know. It takes a lot of tutorials, a lot of frustration, do-overs, mess up. Camera not recording. Footage not uploading. It's just a lot of things can go wrong. And they, and they sometimes do. I hate to paint this picture like... The truth is, if I did it, yes. you can, It can definitely be done. But was it easy? I'm not going to paint that picture and say that it was. Do I still have a long way to go? Absolutely. But anything you want, you definitely have to have the vision for it. You have to visually see it before, before it'll happen. If you don't see it, I don't think it'll happen. If you don't write it down, if you don't plan it out, if you're not organized, and that's a lot of times that's what held me back from not being organized. I missed a lot of opportunities to record from not being organized, not having a schedule. So I'll just tell you all the things not to repeat that I did. Because like my grandmother always say, a wise man learns from other people's mistakes. So learn from my mistakes. If you're starting a YouTube channel or if you're starting anything, the job promotion, whatever it may be. You definitely have to be organized. You definitely have to be consistent. And those are some of the things that, you know, um, I weren't consistent. I missed opportunities. I wasn't organized. So, going into this second half of the year, those are some of the things I'm definitely going to try and change. Because <clears throat> you can accomplish so much more with just doing those simple things. And I would definitely say talk to people that are doing what you want to do. If you see someone doing mukbangs and you like the way they do mukbangs and you see that they've been successful, why not talk to them? If you see somebody on your job doing a job that you eventually want to do, why not talk to them? I think that's a problem when we don't communicate our interests. And sometimes you never know, that person may want to help you succeed and get to the next level. There is no magic key, but there are some things you could probably learn. And I never wanted anybody to give me anything. I was going to work for it. I try and step up my game every month. Every month that YouTube sends us that monthly review, I put it on my wall and that's who I try to beat. That's my only competition. Nobody around me is my competition. Not any of my YouTube sisters, any of my YouTube brothers. Nobody. I am my competition. When I put that, print that out and put it on my wall, that's who I'm actually competing against. Oh, okay. So you did this this month. Let's see if you can outdo it. And every single month I've outdone myself. And that's what's kept me going. So for anybody that's thinking about doing YouTube or thinking about just accomplishing your goal. 
I definitely say go for it. And I, myself, am the first to tell you, I have doubt on this shoulder and fear on this shoulder at all times, but I do it anyway. Always doubting, always thinking of what could go wrong. This might happen. This might not happen. This might not go right. I even sit there and contemplate before I hit publish on a video. All the time. And it's okay to be scared. Scared is what makes you, well, let, what lets you know that you're out of your comfort zone. It is okay to be afraid. And one thing life has taught me is don't ever get comfortable. The minute you get comfortable, it's almost like life is right there to gut punch you. Pull the pull the rug right from under you. So don't get comfortable. You had a good video. Great job. Celebrate. Keep moving. Keep pushing. Keep keep progressing. Another thing I've learned is don't expect everybody to be happy for you. Don't expect everybody to understand your journey because it's not their it's not their journey and it's not their vision. So when you're frustrated and you go to somebody who doesn't understand what you're doing, don't expect them to, you know, sympathize with you. But it's not going to happen. But don't let that stop you either. There are so many things in life that's going to stop you or try to stop you. I have so much stuff thrown at me, left and right. But I made a decision to just stay focused on what I wanted to accomplish. And so far, so good. And like I said, I got a long way to go. This is not my, oh, I made, I made my final goal or anything like that. It's just, I remember starting. I remember having six subscribers. I remember. But yeah, I remember talking to my husband, my kids, just talking about it. Don't talk about it, just do it. And also you have to, another thing you have to remember, everybody that um, starts out with you may not continue with you. So just because some eh, just because somebody else stops or quits or has other obligations doesn't mean that you should give up on yours. Don't relax on your goals. And these are all the things that I'm telling myself. I have to tell myself this every single day. Don't relax on your goals because somebody else is going in another direction. And there's so many times I wanted to quit. It really was. There's so many times I started doubting. How am I going to get to the next level? Or how am I going to hit the next goals? I hope this does not splash. Okay. No, it's frozen. There it is. Oh, this is going to be good. Go down. Mm. Oh, that was good. <clears throat> but yeah, there was a lot of times I doubted how I was going to make it to the next goal or...
one thing about it, once you just get tunnel vision and you focus on, like, tell yourself there's no other options, things start to happen. But the hardest part of YouTube is starting to me. That that has been the hardest part. <clears throat> Look at all this crazy. But I'm so glad I started. I have such a long way to go. And the advice that I have for myself now is don't get comfortable. You got to keep learning. Keep getting better. Keep challenging yourself. Don't get distracted. Don't give up. I'm gonna put the sauce up here so y'all can see. <clears throat> but those are all the things I'm saying I gotta do for the second half of this year. And I love being around people that challenge me. When I see somebody else hit their goal, it makes me want to step my game up. And I think those are the people you should constantly hang around. Or that should inspire you. Oh, that thing is ridiculous. Mm, mm, mm. I know it fell on me. Oh, there it is. These are some big legs. So, to all of y'all who's out there trying to achieve something, striving for something, you have a goal, just keep going. I pray whatever it is you're going after, you can you accomplish. I know it's not gonna be easy, cause nothing ever is. Anything worth having is not gonna be easy, and you appreciate it more when it's not just given to you. <laughs> Sometimes when it's given to you, and you just get it so easily, you take it for granted, and I know that I do. And I've done that in the past. If something is just given to me, I don't really value it as much as when I grind for it and I work for it. I'm very appreciative. And not everybody is the same. It's just human nature. Sometimes we take things for granted. Oops. But yep. Thank you to everybody that's been 
going back watching the videos. <laughs> I try and answer all the comments from all the older videos if I get the notification. So thank you very much for that. It is appreciated. Mm, mm -mm. And somebody asked me, um, was this sauce that good? Yes. It is. You have to make it and taste it and make it your own. Just add or take away or whatever you have to do, but it is a really good base, good sauce to me. Mmm. And I really hope you guys can join me on all seven days. And I'm going to try and bring a variety of seafood. So I hope you guys enjoy it. <clears throat> I know we're getting started late. I don't know how I mixed up the days on top of the heat. Just more excuses. I'm not going to make excuses. I'm just going to start from here and keep it going. And since I know for sure, we're probably going to have some king crab remaining. We can add something to it tomorrow. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, that's crazy. So, what are you guys going to do differently than you've done the first half of the year? Well, this year is going by fast. I'm definitely going to try and be more consistent. Definitely need to get better organized. Plan things out better. Ooh, that's hot. Try and be prepared for every opportunity. Because I've missed so many opportunities. Write down my daily goals. My weekly goals. And my monthly goals. Because whether you want it to or not, time is going to pass with or without you. With you accomplishing something or without you com accomplishing something. So you might as well do what you want to do. And do you want to look back a year from now and just be like, I haven't accomplished anything. I don't want to do that. I've done that. I've been content, I've been complacent, easily distracted, as soon as something bad happens, I focus on the bad instead of focusing on what I'm, you know, having tunnel vision and focusing what I'm supposed to be focusing on. I've done all, I'm guilty of all of that. So do as I say, not as I've done. <laughs> Y'all go out there and make whatever you're going to do. Make it happen. And we can all learn from each other. Young, older. You're never too young to teach. And you're never too old to learn. None of us know everything. So... These young adults, I learn a lot from them. They're very talented. They're go-getters. They don't seem, it seems as though they don't have as much fear. You know, sometimes I t try and take the safe route.
I admire them. I admire their determination, their tenacity. Even when they fail, they get back up. And that was another thing. I fear failing. And that's the worst thing you can do because it's inevitable. Everybody's going to fail at something. So just fail fast, get it over with, and move on. But me, I fear, I, I hate failing. But failing is a part of success. And I'm learning that. It's taken me a while. And I should have known that from like my past. But you still get hung up on me not wanting to fail. So if you're out there, just know failure is a part of success. I'm learning that, and I hope that you know that. So don't be ashamed when you fail and something doesn't go right. Don't be ashamed if you fail and you lose money. It's going to happen. Don't be ashamed if you get rejected. Garlic is so good. Mm. I'm sorry. And a lot of people ask me where I get these from. I get them from um, World Market, Cost Plus World Market. Um, you may have one in your area, so just check and see. I've called Texas, New York, Michigan, only because people have asked me, you know, where I got it from. So I would look and see if they have one in their state. But definitely check those places. I mean, check that store in your state or city. But I know for sure it's in I think it was Michigan. I called New York. I believe it was San Antonio. Somebody helped me find it, so it's only right that I help whoever wants to get one find it. Mm. It's so good. I think it's a combination of the butter, seasonings, on the butter, and I don't know. It's all good. <laughs> it is all good. I knew I was going to have some legs left. I don't know how anybody can eat like four or five king crab legs. Me, myself, I can't do it. But it is so good. So. King crab will definitely be on the menu tomorrow because we have some left over, of course. And then I'll just add whatever the theme is. So today was King, King, King. Not sure what tomorrow will be, but I hope that you join me tomorrow and see what it will be. I appreciate each and every last one of you. Thank you so much for supporting me. It is truly appreciated. I am truly humbled and grateful. Much love to each and every one of you. See you tomorrow for the second day of seven days of seafood. Love you. Bye.